so people, this is part 2 out of the so many. Uh, I'm just gonna start off quick. We had these four layers past time. And we're basically gonna add light rays, but this is actually what we're gonna be making now. It's this. Now the difference that you see is there's a core, a core glow in the middle. Uh, you see like better kind of blur effect and it just looks more realistic really and people this is not the final version this is the very first alpha version and we're gonna be upgrading upon that every tutorial okay so we're gonna be adding two effects that is gonna be CC light rays and CC radio fast blur now we already have radio blur but there's also a blur effect called radio fast blur that's gonna help us create like better blur effect okay so we're gonna do that to the thing that you guys have right now to this one I'm gonna type in CC light rays so we're gonna be dragging the CC light rays effect just underneath the rain effect and I do this because the CC sphere effect takes everything that's on a layer and basically makes it into a world. So it's gonna take the light effect too. It's gonna make it look better and actually make it respond. We're gonna make the intensity go up to a thousand. Oh, one thousand. It's gonna make it look pretty good gonna get like these light rays on the Rasengan and you can make it to 10,000 whatever you want but I just prefer 1,000 I think that looks good you see 10,000 you just have this extreme amount of things going on so we'll make it 1,000 and now we're gonna do the CC radio fast blur we'll drag and drop it over that as on again and we'll put it underneath the light rays effect and we're gonna play with the setting the amount will scale it back to like 10 something like that looks pretty good so now we added these two effects and we're gonna change a few uh, numbers in the light area of the CC sphere layer basically move the light intensity up to a 700 from there on, on make the ambient go to like 70 the fuse goes down to about 40 make the specular go up to about 42 uh, the roughness a bit up the metal goes up and yeah maybe the fuse a bit higher so we're gonna get the following numbers for the aspects of the shading ambient is 71 diffuse is 79 specular is 40 roughness is 0 0.127 0 0.127 metal is 70 and you can just really play around with these numbers but it looks pretty good as it is right now you just need to create like a glowing core making it, it look pretty sweet and that's pretty much the part 2 as it is folks I mean it's already looking a lot better so I hope you guys liked what you made today and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be making in part 3 is basically this it's gonna be rendering slow because I'm recording like very slow I'm gonna show you the finished product then too bad you can't see it in motion just need to see the beginning part of uh, my first tutorial it's the exact same as I it goes like freaking slow Let me just show it without the footage. The Rasengan comp. It's this. You're gonna be creating this. 
which looks a lot more like a Rasengan as what we've created before and with a few color editing we're gonna get the thing that we just saw in the composition which is add a lot of blue to it and also add a little atmosphere uh, but we're gonna talk about that in part 3 hope you guys enjoyed the part 2 and send me some positive feedback so I'm gonna keep on making these things alright partner keep on rolling baby you know what time it is <laughs> Go, 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 go